Wow, what a crowd. We are so excited uh, to welcome you out uh, this beautiful uh, August day to the Empowering Teaching Excellence uh, Faculty Conference. My name is Robert Wagner and I'm with Academic and Instructional Services. And on behalf of the AIS team, we welcome you uh, here on the Logan campus. Uh, I am excited to report uh, that we have uh, over 400 faculty registered for this conference. That's over, that's up over 100 faculty from what we had last year, uh, which was, which is really, really exciting. I would note, enjoy the free lunch because next year we just might be throwing granola bars out at, <laughs> at you, so savor it too a day, okay? <laughs> Um, no, we, we are thrilled. We have faculty from all over the Utah State University system. In fact, let's go ahead and demonstrate that this morning. Could I have those of you who are from a USU Eastern campus, Price or Blanding, please stand. USU Eastern, Price, Blanding. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. I'm getting there. Could I have the faculty from the regional campuses, including Moab, please stand? The regional campuses. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Welcome. Could I have all of the faculty from the Logan campus, please stand? Wonderful. And if there are any faculty who don't know where you're teaching, feel free to uh, stand. Okay, this is, uh, that's inspiring. Uh, I, I know that there are events throughout the week with departments and colleges and uh, of course the regional campuses in Eastern uh, have an event uh, this evening. So we know you have many reasons to uh, come up, but we're glad you came up early uh, for our event this morning. We'd especially like to welcome uh, those faculty who participated in our uh, ETE Foundations event for new faculty on Monday. Could I ask those faculty to please stand? Are there any here that participated in the Foundations e event? Let's welcome our new colleagues, please. Thank you. Well, I'm going to just get started uh, this morning. I'm pleased that they gave me the opening address and not the closing because that was always a fun one as you were all ready to leave and I'm up here uh, trying to impart uh, information. So it's my pleasure uh, this morning to uh, be, ooh, to be part of uh, uh, the opening of this conference. So if we can get my PowerPoint up. I uh, am so excited, um, later in just a little bit I will introduce our keynote speaker. I'm excited that Kelly uh, works with horses because aren't they photogenic? It just makes for great pictures for all of our promotional material, so that has been a lot of fun. But welcome again to the 2017 ETE fac uh, fa uh, Faculty Conference. I just want to talk to you about some of the events that we're really proud of uh, with ETE. Uh, the brand, the name, the events that we do have uh, grown. Uh, this last year was a real exciting year. Uh, you can just see a couple of the screenshots of events that we had that many of you participated in. And if you didn't have a chance, go to the ETE homepage uh, at um, usu.edu. Uh, go to the ETE homepage and you'll find archives of all these events. Most of these events were um, re recorded, but uh, we had our faculty seminars, uh, which were very successful, and including speakers uh, from across the country who came in. Uh, we unveiled our ETE 10 badging, and in fact, just in a little bit, we'll be uh, uh, giving out and recognizing for faculty who have completed uh, the ETE 10 program, which is amazing. 
Uh, and, and so our ET, ET Attend, those of you who don't know, it's our badging program for faculty development, and there's a booth uh, in the uh, uh, Sunburst Lounge where you can go and get information. I think there's some information in your packet as well. We did podcast. We had our e-learning academy in May that was full. Uh, we limit that to about 30 faculty because it's a three-day, very intense uh, program, but we had more uh, than 30 want to attend, so we'll continue to do that uh, e the, the event. One of the things we're really excited about is the ETE Journal, which uh, the first uh, uh, the first edition the, the, uh, was released uh, this last year, uh, this last spring, and we thought it was going to be an internal journal. Uh, I'm pleased to report that there have been, uh, that journal has been opened by people in uh, over 150 countries across the uh, globe, and that's pretty amazing. And uh, yeah, that's worth an applause. The reason, why, the reason why it's worth an applause is because that was written, uh, the, the articles in the ETE uh, journal are written by you, and it's an opportunity for you to get published and to talk about teaching excellence. Uh, I'm pleased, uh, in, in just a minute, I've got an announcement about the ETE uh, journal for this coming year. So lots of uh, fun and exciting events this last year. Uh, for uh, ETE. Looking ahead, I uh, know it's kind of hard to uh, read, but if you go to the ETE website, we already have our faculty seminars for fall posted. We're excited about uh, the uh, lineup that we, we, we have, including a special uh, guest uh, who will be coming to talk about open education resources. So that will be a lot of fun. We'll continue to do the e-learning workshop ETE 10, like I said, is growing. Um, I'm a part of the ETE 10 badging program too, and it's a lot of uh, fun, and uh, it's a great way to demonstrate uh, our competencies and our abilities and the, prof and the professional development that we're involved in. Um, with the ETE Journal, I'm pleased to report that we have a faculty editor now. Uh, is Mike Christiansen, is he around? He's back waving. We'd like to congratulate Mike for becoming the first editor of the ETE <laughs> Journal. And uh, that will be very exciting. I, I believe Mike, October, right? October-ish? Great, great. So call for proposals, call for articles. Uh, we are very interested. So. Uh, please think about that. Something that we're very excited about here that uh, we're going to invite you to participate in while you're here. All of your packets, you should have received a, a postcard that looks like this. We are excited in AIS. We have uh, just unveiled, in fact, the open house is this week, the Classroom Innovation Lab. And we're really, really excited about this. This is located in the Distance Education Building in the basement where the testing center used to be. Um, this is a classroom lab for faculty. This is not for the tech guys to go in and just play. This is for faculty, for you to come in, to try out, to test, to experiment with, to explore the latest classroom innovations and technologies, things that we're thinking about in AIS, but we need your feedback on. We want input, we, we want reporting back, we want faculty using it. So this week, this afternoon, the times are listed. Please make your way to the Innovation Lab. There's some really cool things there. We're talking about 360 degree video. Uh, rideable white walls. You can go in and the walls are all rideable. Um, voice control. We, we, we have the Amazon Echo is now set up to control a classroom and we're experimenting with uh, 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 that and what those implications are. Augmented reality, if you haven't tried the HoloLens yet, go to the Innovation Lab. You can put it on and you can experiment. Uh, we're exploring what uh, augmented reality, where does it have a place in teaching, in the teaching and learning experience? So we'd love to get your feed uh, back. Lots of different chairs and desks and teaching podiums and really, again, a chance for you to experience and provide us feedback. So 
that we can uh, continue to provide you uh, the best teaching and learning environment so that you can do your jobs uh, well. So please check out the Classroom Innovation Lab. I know you can't read this very well, but on the back of your, or on the last page of your program, we're very pleased about the growing ETE committee. The ETE program is faculty-led, and you can see the faculty committee for this coming year. Uh, those are two-year appointments. If you're interested, please let us know. And after the two years, we don't let you go that easy. Uh, we're now, we now have decided after you serve on the ET faculty committee, if you would like to continue to be involved, we'd like you to transition to be an ETE ambassador, or should I say ETE evangelist, uh, so, so, so that you can continue promoting teaching excellence. We also have subcommittee members now as well as an executive committee. So ETE is meant to be your program, a program led by, driven by faculty. And the results of the conference and the topics today are a good example of how that is faculty led. Your, the presentations today were selected by faculty here at Utah State. And I would note that all of the presentations to a day are by USU faculty, which is really exciting too that we have that capacity within our institution. I'm also excited to announce a new program this year called ETE Learning Circles. There is a table in the Sunburst, uh, in the Sunburst Lounge uh, just right out here with the rest of the exhibitors. The idea is we encourage faculty to sign up, become part of small teaching and learning communities where you can discuss as faculty and colleagues various topics. It could be a book club, you could read articles, you could just discuss, it could just be a way to talk, it could be a therapy session. Uh, what, what, whatever it is that you need, we encourage cross-discipline. We also encourage cross-campus, and we have, of course, the technology and the means to be able to facilitate that, so please, Consider joining an ETE learning circle for this year so that uh, you can benefit and strengthen each other as a faculty community. Lastly, we invite you to stay in, in informed. The ETE web site, uh, AIS now has a monthly newsletter. Let us know if you're not subscribed to that. And then our Twitter feed and social media that we are uh, involved in. Most of all, we welcome your feedback. I wrote it in blue so you can't read the, e the uh, emails real well. No, we, 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 we actually do welcome your feedback. So please, uh, if you have feedback about today's conference, those are some contacts uh, there. You can come and catch me or, or uh, any of the uh, staff. Um, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Uh, no, ETE is not going the way of NASCAR. You will not be seeing AIS employees with patches all over their uh, shirts. But we are really excited. We had a couple uh, AIS team members who got, let's just say, quite eager and very effective at getting sponsors for this year's conference. So there'll be some, actually some really cool giveaways during the conference too a day. So we appreciate uh, all of our uh, sponsors. A uh, couple last minute things. We invite you to go to the Sunburst Lounge. We have many uh, exhibitors there, some really cool things. And so make sure in between sessions, during lunch, uh, we're ending a little early today and we're actually, instead of, a clo instead of closing remarks, we're actually inviting you to go to the Sunburst Lounge to check out the, uh, the exhibitors. Most of those, again, are internal here to US U. So we encourage you to check that out. And finally, I would like to recognize and thank the AIS team. Uh, they have just done a phenomenal job. Uh, I am surrounded by uh, amazing people uh, who are very dedicated to what they uh, uh, do. And, and I'd like to ask you to please give, give them a hand for all the work that they have done for this conference. Again, I, I'd like to remind you, you are here because teaching is important at Utah State University. And although we appreciate and espouse and promote the research and the outreach reach missions of this university by being here, you demonstrate that in its heart, uh, 
higher education at Utah State University is about teaching. It's about student interaction. It's about mentorship. It's about engagement. And uh, again, uh, you are here to demonstrate that, and we appreciate that, and I appreciate that, and I'm inspired by your interest and by your professional, uh, um, your professional motivation to be here and focus on teaching excellence. We're going to now turn to a couple awards that we're going to pass out, and then um, I will uh, introduce our keynote speaker this morning. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, Robert mentioned the ETE 10 um, program and the uh, certificates that are associated with that. There are two certificates. There's a Teaching Scholar Certificate and then a Master Teacher Certificate. And the Teaching Scholar Certificate um, is we have some, our first recipients of that um, that we're awarding today. So we might not be able to do this every year because we might end up having so many that this will need to go at a more individual college or department level. But for today, we're happy to award our first four. Um, now, to earn this, what they, had, what they did is they, uh, this involved six engage level badges, three implement level badges, and one contribute level. So um, the engage level badges involve being at an event like this um, and then submitting a reflection afterward about things learned. The implement badge takes it another level and involves implementing an idea, um, taking the results and, and reporting, recording, or, and reflecting um, on the results of that experience. And then the contribute level badge um, comes from presenting at one of these conferences, submitting to a journal, um, contributing at a seminar, or in some other way, um, being part of a, a, a means by which you can contribute things that you've learned to others. And then lastly, there's uh, submitting a teaching philosophy, which we had a chance to read those that came through, and they were really good, really inspiring. So um, without further ado, I'll go th and uh, name off our recipients. First of all, uh, we have Harrison Kleiner, who's our assistant professor from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. You can come on up. And then we have Thane Sweeten, who's a senior lecturer from the College of Science and also representing the Brigham City campus. And then we have Susan Neal, an associate professor in the Division of Arts and Sciences at USU Eastern in Price. And while she's coming up, I'll name our, our next one. We have Jennifer Evers, Clinical Assistant Professor, College of Humanities and Social Sciences at the Moab campus. So we very much appreciate these faculty and all the faculty who have been participating. I was looking yesterday, we've awarded um, I believe about 170 some odd badges so far through the ETE 10 program. So uh, we have more certificates up and coming and we appreciate your involvement and uh, welcome to the conference. <laughs>